Welcome fellow travelers. I'm Joe. This is Good Times RV. Today I'd like to discuss troubleshooting the wheelchair lift on the Canyon Star 3911. I've seen lots of discussion uh, on this topic uh, and many folks um, really need to understand how to troubleshoot this lift because it is such an important part of the RV. Uh, I have one, one uh, caveat is I'm not a trained technician. I'm a do-it-yourselfer. Um, I like to know how the equipment I rely on works. Uh, so I spend a fair amount of time reading. You can all take what I say with a grain of salt. Again, I am not a professional. I have no license. I'm not a license, licensed electrician. I don't know anything about this other than what I've learned over the last 40, 50, 60 years by doing it myself. Um, I am more cautious now. It used to be I'd take it apart and figure it out. Uh, now I spend some time reading before I take it apart and figure it out. <laughs> so <laughs> it avoids a lot of issues. When we first picked this coach up brand new from the factory, I didn't even make it home before this lift started giving me trouble. And it was because a micro switch had become loose. I didn't have any idea. All I knew is it didn't work. I was in a campground in Pennsylvania and the lift wouldn't work. I called Numar. They arranged to have a service person come out, a wheelchair repair person come out on a Saturday actually Saturday afternoon he showed up around five I was, I was very very pleased that the fellow decided to work extra on a Saturday to come and make sure that my lift would work properly he uh, said the lift was operating correctly but that it was a, a micro switch installed by Numar that was in error and he gave me a, um, a little diagnostic tool show it here um, that allows me to cut those uh, extra micro switches out of the loop so that the lift will operate I've held on to that little diagnostic tool very closely um, because should it should one of those switches fail again at least I know the lift can be operated until I can get that uh, micro switch repaired to my knowledge, there are three micro switches outside of the lift. One at the door. When the door is closed, it shuts the lift off. When the door opens, the switch closes, allowing power to flow. Should the ignition switch be off and the gear selector be in park, those are the other two micro switches. The ignition has to be off. The gear selector must be in park and this door must be open before the uh, lift will energize. That being said, there are three main areas uh, that I uh, will group things in that uh, can inhibit the lift from operating properly. One is the main 12 volt circuit. Very simple circuit it is chassis battery to a circuit breaker to the lift. Nothing else is in the way. No other circuit breakers or panels, nothing else. Chassis battery to the circuit breaker to the lift. And that will come to the, to the stud on the front of the lift. And I'll show you an image of it here. <clears throat> then so we have that one piece. Then we have the Numar installed micro switches, door switch, gear shift, ignition. And then we have the internal group of micro switches, which you need to operate the lift. And those are internal to the lift. And I, I'll, I'll show you some diagrams. Here's a diagram of the circuit for the main power from the chassis battery to the stud at the face of the lift. The 
I'll see how I'll explode it here so you can see it. Very simple circuit. You can just test the uh, stud for 12 volts, 13 something, uh, and that will tell you if that circuit is complete. And the next uh, analysis piece I would do is the uh, coach circuits. Uh, is, are you in park? Is the ignition switch off? Is the door open? And then you go on to the internal circuits. The one thing I will, and you'll hear me say this several times, if it is internal micro switch to the brawn lift, that's an error. You look for gross things like a switch falling off, a, a dangling wire, uh, or a loose switch. But anything past that, if it's internal to the lift, my suggestion, my strong suggestion is get a lift technician to come in and figure out what's going on with the lift. Because they will, by their insurance requirements, go through the entire lift. Yeah, it'll cost some money, but they will go through the entire lift to make sure it's operating correctly. So the, the, the two areas that I'm really going to focus on are the main circuit, chassis battery, circuit breaker to the stud on the lift and the Newmar installed or the coach installed micro switches door gear shift ignition switch figure out if, if there's no error in any of those then it's internal uh, it's just some of the um, analysis you can do initially is are the lights on or the lights off. The lights are on, the unit has power. The lights are off, you've got an interruption to that power somewhere. Could be the circuit breaker on the unit, shown here. Could be one of the limit switches, uh, or micro switches that uh, the coach builder has installed, in this case, Numar, gear shift, ignition switch, door. Could be one of those switches, or it could be the chassis battery, or the circuit breaker. Okay, so you get to figure out uh, if the lights are off, then, or of course you could have the switch, you could have the, the on-off switch off as well. You know, as you all know, anybody that's had an issue with lift, it's infuriating when it doesn't work as expected. So let's go. So here we are. At the uh, so here lift mechanism. This is the, the important part, at least for the controls. Um, you'll see that uh, if the lights are out. That means the unit is not getting power. That's not an internal problem, we don't think. That is an external problem. Lights are out, external power problem. So, it's a pretty simple um, determine if we have power. So what that's telling us is that this unit is powered, but there is some interruption in that power to the pump. And over here, there is a Molex and I'll show you a close-up here, which is right here. That is external limit switches or external power interrupts, if you will, micro switches. If your if your key, uh, the ignition key is on, this will not power. If your gear shift is out of park, this will not power. Those are two micro switches. Uh, that are installed in the coach that come in through this Molex. 
and uh, I have a, a tool that I'll show you here that actually will avoid that those limit switches and it's a diagnostic tool just to, to see if in fact the interruption in power is based on external switches but if we have the, the you know, if we have power we have power here 13.5 volts um, the uh, we know that we're getting power from the chassis battery if in fact we are not getting 13 volts here that means that circuit which is described which is shown on the diagram here has a fuse in it there's a uh, resettable circuit breaker just outside the battery and we'll, sh we'll go examine that so if this did not have power that circuit will have to be examined now in here you'll see this switch right here that that circuit breaker is for the lift and you can check your 12 volts on the outside of that or just see if it needs if it needs to be reset if it needs to be reset just reset it if you don't know if the battery's got power take your handy dandy test light 13.6 and we've got 13.5 at 13.5 there so we have good power going through that circuit so hopefully you folks found that interesting uh, it's just a, a, a simple uh, analysis of what's going on where the power is where the power is not and the various circuits that can uh, go wrong but you know anybody that's had the lift that, that requires a wheelchair lift and had it go wrong you know exactly where I am when things go wrong it's just chaos it's really really a problem especially mid-trip and then you've got an issue um, but hopefully you found that useful and uh, don't have problems with your wheelchair lift but if you do simple test light uh, or my fancy one that gives you the voltage uh, will help you out if you have a voltmeter that also helps I've got a couple of those kicking around too um, but simple diagnostic tools will help you out and you know this is five seven dollars for one of these test lights they're cheap Okay, safe travels. See you on the road. I'm Joe. This is Good Times RV. Bye.